the Oregon adventure continues. Today we're going inland. We're going to visit Crater Lake National Park and then the Great Detour in order to finish the Lewis and Clark Trail, which you probably already watched. If not, I totally recommend it. Then we're going to do the rest of the Oregon coast, north to south this time, and eventually going back inland in order to see Bend. Then we're gonna make a beeline back to the mothership, then the star base, and finally home. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. All right. Ready to go. And today we pivot. Uh, we're going inland towards Crater Lake National Park, which I've been told is uh, one of the most beautiful sites in, in the whole state of Oregon, at least in inland Oregon. And uh, well, we're going to be able to compare the Oregon coast with this beautiful inland site, see which one is better. You let me know. And even though this is perhaps not the most iconic part of the Oregon coast, we haven't seen that yet. That will be farther north, Cape Perpetua, um, Cannon Beach, uh, Astoria, that area. So. But today we're going inland and uh, that's how we do it. So enjoy the ride. It's supposed to get a little hotter. another beautiful day in Oregon and this is the point where we part ways with the coast and take the inland route we are slowly gaining elevation here Long and winding road, but I think we're almost there. This is one of those things the National Park Service hasn't really figured out yet. How about an express lane for pass holders? Just saying. We're staying at the Mazama Village Campground, and we are on the electric loop. Let's 
Let's pause for a second here so I can tell you about our sponsor for this episode, Magic Spoon. Cereal reinvented. I want to share with you the amazing benefits of Magic Spoon cereal. They have this childlike nostalgia thing going on, cartoon inspired, never boring with the tastes that you remember and that you can eat at any time of the day, but with high protein, 13 to 14 grams, only 4 to 5 grams of net carbs and zero grams of sugar. And you know, we've been trying to go low carb, so that's perfect. It is also keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, with no artificial colors or sweeteners. And did I mention sugar free? Let's give it the taste test, and I don't think I've had birthday cake before, so let's check it out. Actually, I just recalled we had this one before, so I'm gonna have it again because it was delicious. I got my magic spoon. Mm, and they smell so good, too. Mm, it's delicious, but without all the sugar. And I love the cocoa and maple waffle, too, by the way. So click the link below to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use the promo code TRAVELING at checkout to get $5 off your order. Or go to magicspoon.com slash traveling. And Magic Spoon is so confident about their product, it is backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money. No questions asked. So click the link below and use the code TRAVELING for $5 off or go to Magic Spoon dot com slash traveling to save five dollars off your order today now let's go back to oregon well here we are we made it very excited to explore a crater lake this is our campsite here uh, which by the way has um, this uh, bear proof uh, box for the food and uh, let me show you it is tight this is one tight campsite we backed it in almost all the way back and uh, there's barely room for the truck in front, so I don't know what I told them. I, 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 I'm in the, in the under 30 category, I think that's what it was, and they assigned me this site. Uh, well, not complaining, we made it. It was a little bit of a, a challenging back in because of this other tree here, so it uh, kind of prevented me from getting the angle that I wanted, but we're good. Let's get settled and, um, and explore clear Crater Lake. Oh, I'm a little tired. I've been driving. It's been a, a little bit of a long day. It's already 3, 3.23 p.m., so our time will be limited. Maybe tomorrow morning we'll go back to the park, trailer in tow. I believe the idea is to go all the way to the top, to the rim of the crater. And there's this road that goes all the way around it. Let's stop to get our first commanding view. I'm kind of bummed out it is so smoky today, but that's the thing when you travel. You can't control the weather. And late summer in the West is sometimes like this. Oh, here we are. We've made it to... Greater Lake, deepest lake in North America, I believe, yes. here in, in, um, in Oregon. But unfortunately, it's very smoky, so you, you, it's hard to appreciate the, the true depth of, um, of the view. But what can you do? <laughs> Here's another viewpoint of the lake and Wizard Island. Let's make another quick stop. I believe this parking lot coming up may be the best spot from where to see Wizard Island. And it is also the trailhead for Watchmen Peak. But we're not doing any trails today. That's the view. 
and apparently they have boat tours. Every view is unique. Even though the smoke is definitely a negative here, it does give everything a peculiar look, very unique. yet another overlook. We are, by the way, going all the way around the lake, clockwise. Trust me, there's a lake back there. You can barely see the island now from this side of the, the lake here, but we're just going to continue driving around and... Um... <laughs> Now on the eastern side of the lake, let's go for a little hike. Very cool to see the sun shimmering on the lake as it slowly goes down on the west. It almost looks like static on an old analog TV. I think it is getting worse, the smoke I mean. This is what it is supposed to look like. You, see the... you can really see the effect of the wind on all those trees. Let's continue on the loop road. And 
there it is. Promised Castle. I think this is going to be our last lake overlook today. It is called Phantom Ship Overlook. Apparently, the rock looks like a shipwreck. Now we're gonna go a little farther away from the lake to see the Pinnacles Overlook. Here we are, and there is a short trail to take in the views from slightly different perspectives. It's very, very cool. Obviously, there is a lot more to see here than just the lake. Let's check out Vidai Falls. It is right here on the side of the road. Well, that's an even better view. We're back at the campground. Tomorrow, we continue towards Idaho. Stop and read the interpretive sign. Well, here we stopped on the side of the road. Actually, I had to fix the podcast. But check it out. A vanished volcano. That must be it, right? It sure has that volcano look.
and we are now in Idaho. We're going to spend one night at the Boise KOA before we continue towards where we left off, at the Lewis and Clark Trail. But since there were several videos already about that, on this one we're just going to jump to just west of Astoria, Oregon, 10 days later, where we're going to do the rest of the Oregon coast, this time north to south. Let's stop real quick. This is called Nikani Viewpoint, named after the mountain just behind us. Great views of the coast from this higher vantage point. These tracks on the right are for the Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad, which goes along the Tillamook Coast. Rockaway Beach, very picturesque town. The train, pulled by a steam locomotive, goes from here to a nearby town called Garibaldi. That's gotta be one spectacular train ride. Let's take a break. If you haven't guessed, our next stop is Tillamook. But first, here's the small town called Garibaldi, the other terminus of the Oregon Coast Railroad. There's gotta be a nice view from here, right? Mm, not as good a view of the town as we had earlier, but I'll take it. And we are now in Tillamook, home to the famous creamery. This is actually my second time here, but the last time it wasn't nearly this full, and it is only Tuesday. Well, here we are, we made it to Tillamook, Creamery. This place is packed. I don't know if we're gonna be able to eat, but at least we'll see the place. Mm. Can't imagine what this place might look like on a weekend. It is a relatively new, beautiful, and impeccably clean visitor center. Let's see how the sausage, uh, I mean, the cheese is made.
Last time they had cheese curds. Maybe they changed that after COVID. We have three different samples, so you guys can take one of them. Thank you. Well, we were hoping to get something to eat, but those lines are just uh, too long. I mean, I don't know, it's, it's a Tuesday. It's, uh, this place is packed. So, and you know me and lines. So I think we're just gonna get something to eat at the, at the RV. We just went by Walmart, so we, uh, we have plenty of, of food. And uh, at least we got the, the free samples, which were very nice, actually. Very abundant, if, I, if you will. We're back by the Pacific Ocean. We're not getting any ocean views on this section of the road. Here we are now arriving at Lincoln City, a pretty sizable town. Poe Bay is another one of those towns that would have been great to spend some time here. But today, unfortunately, we only have time for one more. Now arriving in Newport. And here we have another one of those iconic Oregon coast bridges. We're going to unhitch a little farther down the road and come back to explore a little bit. Ever since I saw the view from the bridge back in 2019, I said to myself, we have to come back here. And it turns out there's never enough time, but at least we're gonna stop. We're gonna stay at South Beach State Park. Let's go into town, it is such a beautiful afternoon. You see, some places are lively and some are not. This one is not. At least we have a nice view of Yaquina Bay here, at the mouth of the Yaquina River. Most seafood and chowder on the right. Most seafood and chowder on the left. This part seems nicer, a little livelier. 
but still not very busy on this Tuesday afternoon. Ripley's, believe it or not. Believe it or not, I've never been there. Oh, this is nice. Let's park. We can see the Yaquina Bay Bridge, designed by engineer Condi B. McCullough and opened in 1936. And this picturesque marina here with all these fishing boats. It is picture perfect. As you can hear, we have a bunch of sea lions adding to the soundtrack here. But um, as I suspected, when I drove over that bridge uh, back in 2019, I saw this town from the bridge and I thought, that's a very cute town, looks kind of cute. And it has not disappointed, of course, we're out of time, so if, if this part of the trip seems very rushed, it's because it is. We're out of time, we, we have to be in Indiana in less than a week. So, uh, but, you know, I wanted to stretch out, you know, I, I could have just driven straight west from where we were, but I want to do a little more of the coast and maybe unhitch here and there uh, and see a town like Newport, for example. Yeah, we're running out of time. We're gonna go all around the bay and then we're going back to the campground to see the sunset. And uh, we'll continue the journey south tomorrow. So south actually, south and east, going back east, Bend, Oregon. At this point, we're just exploring aimlessly, but I wanted to see if we could get a better view of the bay, and the bridge for that matter. And there it is. Not exactly what I was expecting, but then again, I didn't know what to expect. The sun setting behind the bridge would have been a nice touch. Let's go back, watch the sunset, and call it a night. Just a quarter mile walk to the beach. Eighteen thirty shoreline. Hmm, all the way back here. Nineteen seventy four shoreline. I thought the water level was going up, not down. There's gotta be an explanation for this phenomenon. This, by the way, is going to be our last Pacific Ocean sunset for a while. There's a dense fog 
occulting the horizon. Still, a most beautiful sunset. Good morning, South Beach State Park here. Actually very nice. We are like a quarter mile trail to the beach as you saw yesterday and uh, close to Newport. We definitely have to return uh, to this area and oops, I did it again. Once again, I come to the Oregon coast and we're in a rush, but it is what it is today. Reluctantly, we're gonna go inland and start, uh, you know, heading east, return trip begins today but first I'm gonna, we're gonna try to depart early today so we can see Bend Oregon which uh, everybody has been recommended that we visit Bend it's gonna be again just a couple of hours but it's better than nothing unfortunately we're having a little bit of a overcast today and it seems to be foggy at the coast so we'll see I'll, I'll still have all the cameras going just in case we catch some some nice views Oceanfront RV pads. Interesting. Finally, some nice unobstructed views of the ocean. Now approaching Waldport. And what do you know? The sun wants to come out as we cross by the mouth of the Alcia River. This is another one of those towns begging to be explored at more depth. It is getting to the point where my front camera is useless. Between the ocean mist and the fog, maybe I'll look into getting some type of lens coating or something. Someone has to have invented something by now, right? I know people use toothpaste for snorkeling masks, so more research shall go into this. We have arrived at Cape Perpetua. Let's stop at the Devil's Churn Day Use area coming up here. Trail of the Restless Waters. Half mile loop, shouldn't be too bad. So let's do it. This is Devil's Churn, by the way. We begin by going down some switchbacks. getting some ocean views and it is no wonder they call it the Trail of the Restless Waters. overlooking Cape Cove Beach as we zoom into Captain Cook's Point. Somewhere out there, there's something called Thor's Well and the Sprouting Horn. 
that if you time them well with the tides, they are supposed to be amazing to see. But that parking lot is not RV friendly. Yet another great view. Oh, they have that beach all to themselves. Opened up and up. Let's go see all this from a higher perspective. This is a day-use area, and there is a short trail that goes to the Cape Perpetua Lookout. Well, yeah. Let's check out the view real quick, and then away we go. Oh, yeah. That's the view. Let's take this short trail to the lookout point, which is, if memory serves, is fantastic. The fog's rolling back in, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to see. Well, you can see a little bit of that commanding view you see from this uh, little structure here. Here's a closer look at Thor's well, that must be it, and the sprouting horn. Yeah, what a great bird's eye view of this amazing coastline. Yeah, look at that fog rolling in. Has the, this, that ghostly effect. And uh, maybe pretty soon we won't even be able to see this view, this uh, amazing view. All right, I'm gonna hike back to the car. By the way, it's, it's a $5 fee area here um, to, 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 for day use. So um, yeah, this is our last spot pretty much that we're gonna stop on the Oregon coast, I think. Unless we find like a vista point uh, uh, along the, the coast, you know. I wanna take an iconic picture of, of, uh, of Starship on Minute 3 you know, for the website. <laughs> travelingrobert.com Look at all the tidal pools down there I cleaned my front lens again, but we all know it won't last. This is the Hasida Head Light, our final stop on the Oregon coast. And this is perhaps the most famous lighthouse in Oregon 
and perhaps the whole Pacific Ocean. We're not gonna do the sand dunes this time around. In fact, we have to start heading inland like pronto. I've been saying goodbye to the Pacific since this morning when we left the campground, but not for real. We're going inland. Turn left onto Oregon 126 East. Until next year. And we have a clean lens. It's going to be a long, beautiful drive. A good five hours, at the very least. But it's gotta be done. Anyway, at the beginning, it all looks kind of like this. With a little bit of rain here and there. Covered bridge. Cool. Here we are, Bend, Oregon, and we're staying at this RV park called The Camp. Very cool. They have all these vintage trailers. It is a little tight, but that's to be expected from an old city RV park. And they do tell you when you make the reservation that it is going to be tight. Well, here we are, Bend, Oregon. Very cute RV park. If the, tonight or tomorrow morning we have time, I'll, I'll show it to you. I'll do a walk around. But uh, right now, I feel like watching a movie. So, be kind. Remember to rewind. Talk about a blast from the past. Of course, this will be the site of the last remaining Blockbuster video. And uh, I think I have misplaced my membership card. Otherwise, maybe we could rent a movie, right? Isn't that something, you know, in, in, in these days of, of streaming and, uh, you know, Netflix actually killed them. Back in the day when Netflix used to ship DVDs. No, no late fees, but... Yeah, all I can say is, oh, they have the sign. I have to, I have to. This, this is so great. I, I don't think I'm gonna go inside because, you know, why? But 
Check it out. Be kind. Please rewind. I decided to go inside after all because... I mean, I had to. Maybe they'll refund me all my late fees. Maybe not. I imagine this must really be like a museum nowadays, right? An unusual time capsule of a bygone era. Oh, that was a good movie. But I decided to come inside after all, you know, just for nostalgia's sake, right? <laughs> Yeah, this is really cool. Going down memory lane. And this is where you would return the movie. And if you were late, there was a late fee, a hefty one. All right, let's continue. Ben is in third place in the USA in breweries per capita, so we have to visit at least one brewery, right? Almost at random, we decided to come to Cascade Lakes Brewing Company. We got pretzel bites, fish and chips, and a burger. Let me show you the outside here real quick. This IPA was really good. Um, Illy's fish and chips was uh, really good too. My burger was okay, very nice. And very good ambience, great service. And uh, and yeah, I think this is the only thing we're really gonna do here in Band. Uh, we'll be back one of these days. It's really cool to have this fire out here where you can sit down outdoors too. It's, it's getting chilly. Especially for, for my Florida skin <laughs> here, but they may have this replica of like a, you know, like a gondola kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go back to the RV, uh, RV park now and, and tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to Idaho. I'm gonna save that uneventful trip back east for some other time. Don't know when, but until then, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. On the road to Alaska, perhaps? Riding in my RV